Singapore is facing a fast aging population and shrinking workforce. It is essential for Singapore's healthcare system to innovate, seek new ways to improve productivity, and add value to our patients. This ensures that our patients will continue to receive high quality and cost effective care in the future. We see a lot of patients who need a lot of um, ongoing therapy to you know, recover from the stroke, from their spinal cord injuries. Uh, traumatic brain injuries, etc. In current situation, uh, there will be times when due to uh, accessibility issues, uh, financial issues, uh, and even uh, availability of clinical slots, etc. There may be times when an outpatients do not get the optimal um, support that they need. The current visitor chairs in the wards, they are most of the time for single use and not very comfortable for a caregiver who needs to stay for a long duration of time to take care of their loved one or accompany their loved one. Um, the chairs cannot really be used for patient rehabilitation at the same time. In the earlier years, uh, the hospital has uh, various services and programs that actually help to deal with uh, patients with complex uh, needs. These services actually uh, cater to different uh, groups of patients with uh, different needs in the community, but they have overlapping services as well. So that in a way has a kind of a, pose a challenge to the patients because when patients get readmitted, they'll be approached by a different person from different team. So in a way, patients will get confused. When they go home, they won't know who to call or who to contact. The Centre for Healthcare Innovation is positioned as a co-learning network to do three things. The first, to build thought leadership. The second, to drive workforce transformation. And the third, to enable workplace learning through new pedagogies. Using our mental model of the innovation cycle, we hope to fuel innovation and improvement that leads to workforce transformation, to keep our formal workforce current and relevant and our informal workforce activated towards better health. Now, what does innovation mean to us? At CHI, we believe that innovation occurs in a cycle. It all begins with care redesign, where we look at the entire ecosystem, what jobs are doing nowadays, and how the workforce must transform to deliver care. And where it has its place, then technology comes in, whether it's in the form of IT or robotics to improve productivity and to reduce waste. And finally, all that allows us to redesign jobs so that we end up with more meaningful jobs for ourselves and much better value care for our patients. So using this uh, tele-rehabilitation approach uh, with a virtual reality application, we are looking at creating a service whereby patients can be uh, monitored at home while they are doing the exercises and therefore uh, that saves them uh, resources that they do not have to travel down uh, to the clinic but yet we are able to uh, deliver care to them. CHI help us to match make with a wonderful partner, Makerspace at Nanyang Poly. Wadan Toxin Hospital provides the design thinking expertise in understanding user needs and ideation. Collaboration with Nanyang Poly allow us to do a life-size prototype of the various ideas that the team has which give us a good visualisation of the ideas that they have. The hospital came out with this uh, transitional care service, TC, uh, where we actually combine all three services into one such that there will be only one transitional care specialist, the TCS, that will be the one that's dealing with patients. So it's about the same TCS that's be touching point with patients in the hospital and the same person will be contacting patient when patient goes home. And it's also the same person where the patient will be calling when he or she faces any issues or queries with regards to his or her care. The long-term objective of this program is really to work closely with the community partners and primary care so that we can effectively look after the patients and also work closely with the caregivers that they can help look after their loved ones so that they will not be coming into the hospitals or even to the ED so frequently because of issues that could largely be resolved at early stage and identified early by the community partners. In 2016, 21 like-minded partners came together to form the CHI Co-Learning Network with the objective of deepening co-learning and collaboration. 
At CHI, there are no borders when it comes to learning. We believe in knowledge sharing and learning together. Healthcare issues are getting more and more complex, so the diverse membership will allow us to address these issues in a holistic manner. So we can look at these issues from a healthcare, technology, education, policy, and even a design angle. By coming together, we can actually make change. You know, it, we can create change. We can identify new needs on the ground, identify new trends, and to address these new trends and we have that resources to do that, or rather CHI will have the resources to do that because it is so rich in, um, in experience and in, in knowledge. We've always said, you know, if the answer was found within healthcare, we would have found it already. So obviously we have to look further abroad and this is where CHI can help us because they can bring in partners that will open up new horizons to us to rethink our challenges and therefore rethink, reimagine our solutions. Being in this environment, in this network, actually helps us better connect to the users and to the industry and looking at what are really the needs um, and no longer looking at technologies from the technology's perspective but technologies from the application's perspective and the usability um, aspects. Um, the, this is really where I see the convergence of interests and um, how we are able to synergize and work better together. Kulturum uh, knows that uh, this network has many valuable uh, centers involved, so uh, we hope that uh, we can energize each other to new levels of understanding and I think that uh, the modernization of care is so challenging now that we need to find ways to shorten the way between the idea and the execution and I hope that the network can help us with that. Over the course of the last one to two years we met with many like-minded partners from overseas as well as here in Singapore. We have come together as a community of practice to be able to make a difference in healthcare from the ground up. To quote my favourite movie, that you are here, that life exists, an identity, and the powerful play goes on, and that you may contribute a verse. Through our collaboration with thought leaders, both local and international, we hope to not only keep pace with scalable improvements, but to disrupt current care delivery paradigms to do better. And finally, through our learning networks, we hope to work with our partners as a community of practitioners to deliver value to our staff and to our patients. Well, we're very lucky to have two important assets that we'll be very happy to share with our network partners. First of all, the Unting Fong Healthcare Innovation Programme. Now that's a grant that will help projects that are involved with care redesign and device innovation. And number two, we've got a building, the Ng Ting Fong Center for Healthcare Innovation. That's a nine-story building packed with conference facilities that we can get together, learn, think and plan for the future.